Okay, so what we're looking at here is a, a Seiko Belmatic 4006-6031. Um, these are probably one of the more sought-after Belmatics because they, they just look great. They're, um, the, the big round case is, is somewhat un-Seiko. However, um, it's definitely quite, quite an attractive looking case. Um, the bracelet that this one is on is the much sought after coffin link style. So that's the underside of that there. These, um, yeah, a lot of people are after these because they, they just look great and um, they're quite unique. Nobody really makes anything similar now. Or, or has for quite some time. So these either came on this sort of bracelet or a bracelet very similar to the Rolex President style. So looking at this one uh, specifically, so the crystal there is quite good. Um, what I do is I pop that out and just clean out the, I can see dirt underneath the edge there. So I get in there and get all that dirt out. The, um, the dial is perfect so you wouldn't want to touch that or relum it or anything, you just leave that well alone. It's, uh, it's got the original crowns, which is really good news. Um, there were two styles of this crown on this case. The 6030 um, has a waterproof style crown, so that's where it has the pendant coming out, and then has a crown with the, um, with the gasket inside of it. This has the newer Japanese style crown, which has the gasket on the outside, and it's a lot easier to service. Um, so I'll just pop the back off here, so you can see there it's got the uh, the horseshoe type case back, which is pretty common for the time. Um, the production date on that one is 1971, so you've just missed out on the, the waterproof marking. Just opening that up there. The uh, the movement inside is really good. Um, it's very clean. There's not really that many gotchas with these movements they don't have any um, major faults like some of the other movements for example the um, the Lord Matic 5606 and any of its uh, brothers and sisters generally tend to have um, quite a few problems uh, with the day and date setting which I can solve but um, it's uh, yeah just one of those things it's just a fault with the movement <clears throat> It's uh, fairly clean, so it's probably been serviced before. So yeah, I'd, uh, I don't think we'll have too many problems with this one. Um, the only thing that these mo movements are really uh, can be prone to is uh, some of them are prone to excessive wear on the cannon pinion, which is pretty easy to solve because you can just tighten that fairly easily. But um, yeah, no, these are great piece. Piece. I've actually got two of these myself. Um, Actually, no, three. I've got a grey one as well. So I've got two blues and uh, and one grey. Um, I think they came in a white off the top of my head as well. Um, but, and possibly a brown. I think they came in a sienna brown and gold. So they, they did come in a few colours. Uh, the end pieces there, they're a little bit loose, which is pretty common, but that can be tightened up. That's no big, big issue there. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there and... Um, yeah, we'll get cracking on it and uh, get it done. But, uh, yeah, no, it'll uh, certainly come up quite nice, I think. It's still got all the original finish there, which you probably really wouldn't want to touch too much because it's quite difficult to put back on. And, uh, yeah, no, it's a great little watch.